Today, we are going to visit a popular beach destination in the South Konkan region of Maharashtra. This is also known as Coastal Hill Station. You might have guessed which is this destination. Yes, this destination is Dapoli, a town in Pratnagiri district, Maharashtra. In Dasra holidays, we went for a trip of 3 nights and 4 days to Dapoli in October 2023. Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Travel to Explore Places. In this video, I will share my trip experience of 3 nights and 4 days in Dapoli. I will share complete details of popular must visit tourist places and hotels where we stayed. We started from Mumbai at 12.30 pm. After Panvel, we have taken deviation to Goa Highway. To reach Dapoli, we have to drive 230 km from Mumbai, which will take minimum 6 to 8 hours. Always travel to Dapoli in daytime only. On the way, we have taken halt for lunch at Kamath Hotel. You can see the road condition of Goa Highway is pretty good. After reaching Mangao, we have taken deviation and travelled via Mandangad Dapoli route. Mandangan road is in good condition and less traffic, but only problem it is a single lane road. Even though the traffic is very much less in this road, as this is a single lane road, the driving is very much hectic. That is why I suggest not to travel in this road to Dapoli. Then which is the best route? I will share with you in the last part of the video. Finally, we have reached Dapoli at 8 pm. In day 1, we have travelled from Dapoli to Mumbai. In the night, we have stayed in the hotel Sadhana Executive. In this video, I am not going to share complete details of our hotel stay in Dapoli. Because I have already uploaded another video for the complete details of hotels where we stayed in Dapoli in this trip. The link is provided in the description box. Please. Click the link for complete details. From this hotel, the distance of Ladgar Beach is 7 km, Murud Beach 11 km, Karde Beach 13 km and Arnai Beach 13 km. We have checked out the hotel in the morning and started for day one sightseeing. Dapoli is located 800 meter above mean sea level. It is also known as Mini Mahabaleshwar of Maharashtra because of its cool climate throughout the year. Now we are going to visit Sri Keshavaraj temple. The famous ancient temple Sri Keshavaraj is at a distance of 8 kilometers from Dapoli Arnai road. The Keshavaraj temple lies in a hidden village near Dapoli known as Asud and is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. From here, we need to drive little distance inside, then we have to park our vehicle on the Asud Bag road. Then we have to trek 15 minutes through amazing lush green, beautiful plantations of coconut mango and cashew to reach the temple. Keshavaraj temple is a beautiful ancient temple in Dapoli. This place involves a little bit of climb of around 200 steps. But it is worth it because the nature which you will see around is very beautiful. 
here there is a small shop where we will get homemade kokum sharbat limbu sharbat which is really good on the route to the temple there is a beautiful bridge with the stream flowing underneath the keshavaraj temple is over 5000 years old and is believed to have been built by pandavas in a single night A natural stream originating on a hill top feeds the water to the stone carved mouth of cow or gomuka at the temple. The cold stream water coming out from the cow's mouth is clean and sweet and can be consumed directly. We are going to our next destination, Anjarle Beach and Anjarle Kadiyavarcha Ganapati Temple. Anjarle is one of the famous place in Konkan region. It is just 20 km from the Poli. Anjarle is famous for Kadyavarcha Ganapati Mandir situated on the hill top. Anjarle beach is a clean unspoiled beach with white sand surrounded by palm trees. Anjarle beach is one of the less crowded beach about 2 km in the stretch. The water is clean, the sand is white and one can enjoy playing with waves and sand. There are no water sports available here. There are no beach resorts or hotels at Anjarle. This is one of the best beach which gives you peace and silence. To reach Ganesh temple, earlier people were used to cross Anjarle creek in a boat and then climbing the steps from Anjarle village. After construction of this bridge, you can take your car up to the entrance of the temple. This is one of the ancient and magnificent Ganesh temple was originally constructed in the year 1150 by using wooden pillars. Later it was renovated during the year 1768 and 1780. The temple has been called as Kadyavaril Ganapati Mandir, as it is situated on the hilltop. According to the history, the original temple was rested on the bank of the sea. In due course, due to the increasing of sea level, the temple was sunk in the sea. Later, the new temple was constructed on the top of the hill. It is believed that Lord Ganesha put his first step on the hill and second step in the temple.
we are going to our next destination arnai beach and arnai fish market arnai beach is at 8 km from anjarle beach and 15 km from dapoli arnai village is a natural harbor and fishing is the main activity in the fish market every day morning and evening the daily catch of fish is auctioned in the evening After day to sightseeing we are going to check in Sagar Sawali Beach Resort in Karde Beach Day three, we are starting our sightseeing from Karde Selfie Point. We are first going to Burundi Village to visit Parshuram Statue. Further, we are going to Dabol to visit Chandika Devi Temple. All best beach resorts are located in Murud, Karde and Ladgar beach. These resorts are situated at 10 to 15 km from city center. From Karde selfie point, Dabol is at 37 km which takes 1 hour. Dabol is also a place of historical evidence witnessing many forts, caves, hot water springs, temples and churches which are belonging to 2nd and 3rd century. This is Largar Beach which is a short length beach famous for beautiful sunset view also water sports such as parasailing and water skiing are popular in Largar Beach In the Ladgar beach some of the most beautiful resorts are located On the way to Parashuram statue we have visited Sri Durga Devi temple in Burundi which is also a very beautiful temple We are reaching Parashuram statue which is situated on the roadside while going from Ladgar to Dabol. Shri Parashuram monument, the sixth avatar of Lord Vishnu, is located on the scenic hill top in the village of Burundi near Ladgar beach. This is very attractive monument and it is a private property. This is 21 feet high statue stands upon 40 feet diameter semicircular earth globe.
from this place the scenic view of mountains and thomas tirth beach is really mesmerizing inside the globe is hollow and this is very silent place used for meditation Chandika Devi Mandir is at 37 km from the Poli. There is a big parking area to park the vehicles. On the way to Mandir, there are a lot of shops are available. Chandika is an avatar of Durga. This is a cave temple of the goddess Durga. It is said to belong to the era of Pandavas. History says that Pandavas created this temple with their divine powers while they were serving their vanvas. The entrance of the cave being short, visitors must bend and proceed inside the cave. After entering the cave, you will find stairs leading underground. It is usually dark inside the cave with space enough for only two people to go inside at a time. Once you enter the cave in the lamp's light you will see the beautiful and divine idol of goddess Chandika Devi the swayambhu Chandika Devi idol is special as only half of it is above the ground and the rest is still under the ground there are many small tunnels in this cave history says that these tunnels will lead to the holy land of kashi From Dapoli to Dabol, petrol pumps are not available. Here, there is a petrol pump where we can fill the fuel to our vehicles. From Dabol, we are going to Murud Beach via Dapoli. Murud Beach, we can go via Karde Road also. but it is small road so better to take straight road via the poli this is shortcut road but good road this route is good for the poli you can drive enjoying scenic beauty of nature Murud beach is one of the most popular beach in Dapoli. Murud beach is a long flat beach covered with black sand that gives a silvery look. The sunset at the beach is mesmerizing. Here activities like parasailing, camel rides, horse cart rides and water scooters are available. but due to dasra holidays today not available near murud beach there is also an ancient durga devi temple which was built in the 18th century after day 3 sightseeing in the evening we are going to check in 
बीच रिसॉर्ट विट्स एक्सेलेंसी इन करदे बीच विट्स एक्सेलेंसी ये प्रीमियम सी फेज रिसॉर्ट सिचुएटेड इन द ब्यूटीफुल सीनिक लोकेशन एट करदे बीच एक्सेलेंट होटल विथ फैंटेस्टिक लोकेशन सिचुएटेड एग्जैक्टली इन फ्रंट ऑफ करदे बीच The resort offers a very luxurious and spacious rooms with astonishing sea view. In this resort, all the rooms are facing the sea. We have checked out the hotel and going back to Mumbai with fantastic memories of the Poli trip. We started from the Poli at 11:30 a.m. I will share you the best route Mumbai to the Poli or the Poli to Mumbai. From the Poli, go to Mahad and enter Goa Expressway, then reach Mangao, then take deviation at Ville MITC. and enter pali majika road and then reach kapoli toll plaza then take mumbai pune express way and reach mumbai in this route roads are good time saving and will not be hectic for driving After the drive of one and a half hour, we break the journey for the lunch at Gomantak Family Restaurant. This is very nice restaurant, situated in Dapoli Mahad Road, at 50 km from Dapoli. Only this much in this video. If you find my videos informative about the Poli trip, please subscribe my channel, like and share my video to your friends. Thank you very much for watching the video.